This tutorial will show you how to use the read test motor option and the export to NXT option together to get the program to work with the NXT. So first you open up the program, FLO NXT Navigation, and you draw out your path. I'm just going to make it a little path here. It's not nothing too complicated, but not really too easy. And you do that, then you go file export to NXT format. And you choose your folder. So this would be Say, so, no, here. so test. Save. So then you open that up. See here it is. Test. This is all the stuff. As I said in previous tutorials, that's the degrees, which is the length, but it's in degrees because it doesn't do decimals, which is what it would be if it did rotations. That's the turn. One hundred is right. Turn zero is straight. Negative one hundred is left turn. That's the power. So what you do is you open up retest motor. Wait for it to load up. Yeah, sorry, it's not open yet, but it takes a while. But so you open retest. You tell it to read everything. I also currently do not have an NXT connected to this computer, so I can't like actually connect it to the NXT. But I can show you what to do. So retest motor. So you're going to see all of this, but what you want here is it's going to tell you what to load. But so the way you get to your NXT so it can load it is you click this button. Normally, if there's an NXT pop up, then you hit the memory tab and you go to download. Since there's no NXT, so it's not actually going to download since there's no NXT there. But then you change this to all files and you find the one you want to download test. <coughs> then what you do after you do that is you go to these things, this red one. You change this to, since it's not connected to an XT, you do that, but you change this to whatever you named your text file. And you do the same with that one, and same with that one. What it's doing is, this is reading the first number, the first line, the second line, this is reading the third line. And as you run the program, it'll display it. You'll see these things, it'll display while you're running the program, like that'll be the first line, that'll be the second line, that'll be the third line, so it should say the same exact thing as your text file, like... This one is going to say 653, that one's going to say 0, and the other one's going to say 75 on top of each other. Just these three, then it's, going to, then it's going to do just those three, then it's going to do just those three. And as I said previously, sometimes the turns don't always get into the same, like, the right thing. Like, it should be, it's 100 when it's supposed to be negative 100, or it's negative 100 when it's supposed to be 100. So you just have to go through it manually and check it out, like, so that's a left turn, so here that should be negative 100 instead so what you do is you just hit that and you hit the dash which is the same as negative and that's how you change it and then you just save that after you're done changing it so that's how you do it